Hey, what's going on everybody? The Cajun Catcher here once again tonight in a world of color. <laughs> uh, no guys, uh, gotta start off a little lighthearted because I just really want to talk about everything that's going on in life. This whole country, the United States is practically under a lockdown right now, under the virus. And as things get a little bit more serious in the tone, here comes the blue light. It's a very sad day in our country, in the United States of America right now, and uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm worried. <laughs> like, um, everything's gone up in terms of the motel I've been staying at. Like, it has shot up dramatically, 20 by 20 to $30 a night. And, uh, I, you know, it's not technical price gouging because I've seen these prices before, just never at such a, uh, a consistent level, and it makes me just uh, a little mad. Red light, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> as you can tell, I'm trying to stay as lighthearted about this as I possibly can, but it, it's extremely hard. Um, so, update for me. Uh, I have been working full-time as a cook at Pit Grill in Alexandria, Louisiana. And, hey, once things get back to normal, y'all go grab a bite to eat the food. Uh, spectacular and I'm not just saying that because I cook it <laughs> no um, of course you know I have to go off the restaurant stuff so you know their food is outstandingly good um, but uh, you know so I, I, yeah I was working there full time 40 hours a week man $10 an hour hey for Louisiana that's pretty dang good man you know so uh, then everything hit and shit hit the fan. YouTube, you don't like me saying shit. I don't give a fuck right now, man. I am not a, you know, I am not making this for kids. I'm making this for everybody. Okay, kids, if you are watching this, if you're a child and you're watching this video, guess what? You're about to have to grow some balls or a pair of legs because let me tell you, man, things are getting real. Okay, uh, things are gonna get really, really hard. The hardest I've probably ever seen them. You know, I lived in 9-11 and the financial crisis of 2008 and all of that. This is going to be worse, I have a feeling. Um, and there's going to be lasting consequences on our society, just like there was after 9-11. So, um, that's, that's my theory, anyway. It's my opinion. Everything I say in this video is opinion only. No, no facts, unless I specifically state I know this is a fact. Everything, my opinion. So, get mad, internet. Someone's voicing their opinion. So, uh, okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, guys, it's gonna be scary for a long time, a very long time, and uh, I just really wanted to come on and say I hope everyone across the world is uh, doing as okay as they possibly can during this time, whether you're in quarantine, whether you're sick, you're on lockdown, uh, you're out of work like I am, I don't care your situation, I just hope you're okay. Uh, I'm personally not. <laughs> I need some help, guys, because uh, it's going to be a little while for unemployment to start kicking in for me. I'm waiting on food stamps. Uh, I'm not... I would much rather ask help from the community directly than from the government, because I hate the government. I hate the government, you know, in terms of assistance. That's just me, personal. I, I'm not looking down on anybody that takes it. My wife is on disability, guys, So, and I don't look down on her. It's just something I don't do, okay? Because I feel I'm an able-bodied person. I can go out. I can make ends meet, and normally I would never ever, ever, ever take the government's money. Uh, I'm making the exception this time because this is not my fault. Okay? This isn't my job's fault. This isn't my state's fault. Hell, this isn't completely my country's fault. Uh, there's nitpicks on that with how this crisis could have been handled, closing down things a little bit earlier, things like that. There should have been more done, in my opinion, to mitigate this crisis. However, different video for a different time uh right now uh i just want to say please if you are able to go donate blood 
if you are able to uh, help someone who's struggling, like I will even say, myself included, because I'm struggling really bad right now, but I'm not meaning just me. If you see something else, something where your money could go to help people struggling through this crisis, someone who's passed away from COVID-19, someone who is sick, uh, don't come in contact with them, okay? We gotta keep that social distance apart, man, like six feet away, okay? So uh, we gotta keep social distancing going. But if you can send them some kind of money, something, uh, order something off their Amazon wish list, send them a pizza. Maybe not the best idea for a COVID-19 victim. Um, but you get the gist of what I'm saying, all right? Okay, be safe, be responsible, but help out if you're able to as much as you can because this is a time where we as a community not only as a online community, not only as a social network community, not only as a religious community, a country, a world, but as a species, need to pull together and help each other out. Guys, this is the closest any of us that are alive right now watching this video have ever come and have ever been to a pandemic. We're fully in the midst of one right now. This has not been seen since the 1918 Spanish flu, and I do believe that is a fact. Be sure to double check me, but I think I'm right on that. In any case, though, uh, so the generations alive today have never seen this, have never experienced it on this level of a global pandemic. We have never been in this type of crisis as a country, as a world, as a species in recent memory. This is the time we got to pull together. Love one another. I love you all. You should have donated to your favorite charities right now. Red Cross, go donate blood if you're healthy and well. Social distance, guys. I love you all. I'm the Cage Catcher. I'll see you next time.